Hey there everyone, welcome to Flutterverse, a month-long Flutter Bootcamp organized by GDSE GHRC. I'm Aniket Singh, a Flutter developer and also a core team member here at GDSE GHRC. I with my teammate Alia Ali, we both are going to help you learn Flutter. And please don't think this to be just another bootcamp. It's going to be lots of fun. We are going to run many contests between the boot bootcamp where you know you can win prizes. And the best part of this bootcamp is that uh, it's going to be project based, which means that uh, you can uh, uh, the project which we are going to create in this bootcamp, you can add it in your resumes and it will shortly help you get your first internship as a Flutter developer. Uh, I hope you have seen the course curriculum. If not, it's in the description box below. Today we are going to see uh, what is uh, what is Flutter and uh, why do people or developers prefer Flutter over the alternatives and also see the installation of Flutter SDK and Android Studio in Windows. Uh, so let's get started. So what is Flutter? Well, Flutter is an open source SDK where you can create application for different platform using single code base. The platform supported by Flutter are Android, iOS, Windows, Linux. Uh, so now we, under now we know what is Flutter. Uh, so what does SDK mean? Well, SDK stands for Software Development Kit. Uh, it is similar to kit used by different professionals like doctor where they use uh, uh, thermometer stethoscope to treat a patient. Now in the similar way Flutter developer have a kit uh, which they call SDK which they use to create application for different platform. Right now we know uh, now uh, we know that to write some code we need a programming language. So what does Flutter use? Well Flutter uses a programming language called Dart. Uh, it is similar to uh, Java and JavaScript. Uh, you can say that the pros of Java and the pros of JavaScript is taken and we have a new programming language called Dart. Uh, you would understand this thing better with this meme. Right. Now, as we know what programming language Flutter uses and what is Flutter, it's important to compare it with different uh, framework like, like uh, React Native. Uh, so the first benefit which I personally think is that uh, the Flutter compiles the code right with uh, native iOS or Android platform uh, and it, does, it, it doesn't have any performance issues than the apps built with other frameworks like React Native. Now when it comes to speed and performance, Flutter enjoys a clear advantage over React Native. And for me personally, it is way easier to write complex UI in Flutter and the one, ad the one major advantage which I see in Flutter is called uh, Hot Reload. It's a button which you can use to instantly, you know, change, uh, you can change the code and you can uh, instantly get that thing in your Android application. Uh, for example, if you, if you, if you have used the native, uh, native Android, then it, it, it requires you to reinstall the application to see the changes in, in the mobile, in the Android application. But uh, the, it's not similar in Flutter. You can instantly change, change. You can instantly write the code and see the changes in your Android application. Okay. There are many companies using Flutter. Now, the main benefit of companies to use Flutter is that it is cost efficient. Uh, it reduces the cost of hiring two developers for two different platform. For example, uh, a developer who is writing code in iOS and another developer who is writing code in Android. But uh, when the when the company use Flutter, they uh, they only need to hire a single developer who who writes the code in Flutter, and that code can be deployed in Android and uh, iOS both. Now some of the companies which uses Flutter are this uh, like Dream Eleven, BMW, EM, uh, eBay, and now Google Pay also uses Flutter. Uh, here you can see Dream Eleven is the Indian company which uh, uses Flutter. Uh, and also Zerotha, it's a financial company where you buy stocks. It, it also uses uh, Flutter. Now we further move on to the installation part of Flutter SDK and also Android Studio. To download Flutter, search for Flutter on Google and click on the very first result. Then uh, click on get started after the website gets opened. and then click on the operating system which you are on for us it is going to be windows i'm going to click on windows and then uh, click on download the stable.zip file which is going to download the zip file of the sdk 
it is going to download flutter windows 2.5.3 stable dot zip file till then we are going to download we are also going to download android studio then again search for android studio and click on the very first result now click on the download button it is going to give you uh, some terms and condition agree to that and confirm the download Now we'll wait for both of the down both of the file to get downloaded. Once the download is complete, uh, un unzip the Flutter window stable uh, SDK folder. And after unzipping, unzipping that, uh, open the Flutter file, then click on bin. And we are going to copy the whole path of uh, the bin folder because we, because we need Flutter uh, globally available in our uh, machine. So we are going to copy it. And then open start menu and search for edit environment variable. Once it is open, click on environment variable and then path and then click on new. Here you can paste the, you have to paste the folder which we have copied and you have to do the same thing in the system variable. Now to check if it's available globally, what you can do is search for command prompt or the terminal, whatever you have and type the flutter doctor. Uh, as it is running for the first time, it is going to take some time. Now there you can see that uh, we don't have uh, we we have exclamation mark in Android Studio. That means it is not yet installed. So to install Android Studio, click uh, double click on the file which we have downloaded. And it is going to first verify the installer. Once the very uh, installer gets verified, you need to uh, click next, 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 and uh, choose the path where you want to install your android studio Once the installation is done, open and uh, Android Studio gets opened and there uh, you can see that it is going to download all the sub dependencies and also some, some of the required SDKs and different uh, softwares for Android Studio to run. So uh, let all, all the things to get installed. Now once it is installed, click on plugins, then click on marketplace and 
there you need to install flutter with flutter dart is also going to install as it is the sub dependency of flutter so install both of them and then reload the id now we have flutter sdk and android studio both running on our windows machine okay so now as we have completed a uh, part of installation of flutter sdk and android studio uh, till then if you have any doubt please leave that in the comment below i'll surely help you there and also we are going to have a doubt session on uh, on saturday where we are going to clear your doubts and also cre uh, create a project so for the timing update and all please make sure you you have joined our discord server we are all we are going to update everything about the about the bootcamp there itself and uh, and for contests where you can win goodies um, goodies make sure you follow us on on all of our social there we are going to update and have all the contests so yeah see you in the next one